Adding Vectors by Components, Part 3 of 3. In Part 1, we explained how to deconstruct and construct a vector. In Part 2, we talked about how we can add vectors by components on a grid just by counting up the blocks. Now we're going to look at how to do it when you don't have a grid, which is a little more to what we're really doing most of the time. So here's a problem. I've got two velocities, 10 meters per second going 40 degrees above the horizontal and 8 meters per second going to the left 55 degrees from the vertical line. Now I need to add them up and find the answer. So I'm not going to draw the answer. I'm going to find the components and add the components together, just like we did before. So I'll have to deconstruct this and then find the components. So each vector is basically the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So in the case of the 10 meters per second, it goes to the right and then it goes up. And it goes to the right some number of meters per second, and it goes up some number of meters per second. It's not just a number. 10 meters per second is a concept of velocity, so you've got to have the units to it. Now the other vector is going to go up some number of meters per second, and it's going to go left some number of meters per second. So those are the components around the angles of the two vectors that I have. Now I use trig. The adjacent side is going to use the cosine function. The 10 meters per second becomes the hypotenuse. The red line that I have drawn here and labeled, that's the adjacent side, so it's cosine. So 10 meters per second cosine 40 is how big the horizontal component is. Vertically, it's 10 meters per second sine 40 degrees, and that tells me again how big the component is. The bottom component goes to the right, so it's positive when I deal with the math. The other component goes upwards, so it's positive when I put it into the math. On the other side, I have 8 meters per second. That's the hypotenuse. And this is the side adjacent to the 55, so it's cosine function. And that's 55 degrees. Notice, on the 10 meters per second line, vertical is done with the sine function. On the 8 meters per second, vertical is done with the cosine function. So vertical isn't always one function or another. It's just using the rules of trig. Is it the opposite side of the angle or the adjacent side of the angle? And that tells you what trig function to use. One more side to do. That's going to be opposite the 55 degrees, and that's 8 meters per second sine 55. In other words, the hypotenuse times sine 55. Notice that I have units and where I have the units on all these uh, vectors, all these components. Now all I do is I add up the components. So I've got my directions, plus, plus, minus, just like before. And you can actually assume any direction you want to as long as you're consistent, but we'll just stick to the math class directions. So how does all this help me find the resultant? Well, the vector components are going to tell us the equation. I know that it's the components in the x direction gives me rx, so that's 10 meters per second minus 8 meters per second times sine 55. So it's 10 meters per second cosine 40 degrees minus 8 meters per second sine 55 degrees minus because the 8 meters per second sine 55 goes left. Vertically, I do the same thing with the vertical pieces. So I have 8 meters per second cosine 55 going up plus 10 meters per second sine 45 or sine 40 degrees going up. They both go up, so I just add them because they go in the same direction in our positive direction. So now I'll do a little bit of math in my calculator, and I get horizontally it's 1.107 and vertically it's 11.01. .01. So horizontally the answer is positive, which means the arrow goes to the right. Vertically the answer is positive, so it goes up. If I had a negative answer, I'd draw my arrow pointing in the negative direction. So here are the pieces, they're the components of my answer. Now I construct my final answer. And you can see where they all come from, ry, ry. And now I'll construct my final r, and I'm all set. So I can find the magnitude of r using Pythagorean's theorem, and I can find the direction using trig, the angle opposite over adjacent equals tangent theta. And I get 83.4 degrees and it's pointing north of due east. So the magnitude is 11.1 .1 meters per second. The angle is 84.3 degrees north of pointing due east. So that's how you find it with components and trig.